Hello boys and girls, happy Easter, welcome back. Um, yeah, this is a strange one. Uh, yet yeah, again, this is of Sarah's choosing, not mine. <laughs> she saw this online, um, full price, not a charity shop job, unusually. Uh, I think she said it was about six pounds, so yeah, not the end of the world. Um, <laughs> not something I've ever dabbled with before, and from a company I've never dabbled with before. Uh, yeah, let's have a little look. So, Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon? Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon. Scary monster, anyway. From Lindbergh. Um, yeah, don't know anything about them, other than the, they hail from the US of A. Uh, but this one that includes a caveman figure. Yay! Only several million years in between dinosaurs and humans, but you know, we won't let accuracy get in the way of a kit, will we? So what have we got? Lifelike detail. Can you see that little man there? Yeah, lifelike. Can you see that scary monster? Yeah, easy to assemble, good. Over eight inches long. You can paint it, look, it's paintable. But there's no paint included, but it's paintable. Uh, I'm not sure how it would not be paintable. Recommended for eight or over. School level two, glue required. Woohoo. Uh, as I always do, I had a little look on scale mates. And this is from, well, this box is copyright 2012. But looking back, it seems that without the figure, the humanoid. It was available back from 1979. But it might be descended from a kit from a company called Pyro right back to 1967. But I'm not sure. It looks different, but the timeline, this comes off the Pyro one. So it may be older, but certainly at least from 1979. So what we got in here? Anything on there? Do not create a bit of info there. Something in French. Cape Man waving. And then on the back, some other kits they do. So if you're really into your dinosaurs, you may want to get some of those. Mm. A little bit about dinosaurs. Did you read that? Yeah, there you go. In case you didn't know. So yeah, that's kind of it for the box. So brand new, sealed. Let's have a little shifty inside. I mean for six pounds something, I'm not expecting it to be wonderful. And from the box art, it doesn't look like it's gonna be the most detailed high quality kit in the world, but you never know. Like I say, I don't, I don't know anything about Limbo, so they may be wonderful for all I know. We shall see. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> so we got everything in a sealed bag and the destructions. Let's have a look. So sort of cheap photocopy type paper. Yeah. That really is cheap and nasty. So please read, blah, blah, blah. read instructions, test feed each part first, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, all the usual sort of stuff. Several languages. Uh, and then really rubbishy looking, cheap, nasty instructions. Look, look how this is really bad black and white photocopying. But I'm guessing you probably don't need much in the way of the instructions to actually put this together. Looks like it. Yeah, it really is fun. On bit. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I I think this is this is going to be 
absolutely top quality in it. So, oh, and at the moment, um, so the other day, unboxed the old HMS Victory from Airfix. And Sarah's been building that over the last sort of week or so. It's her first ever kit. And in the meantime, she's bought this one. So she really likes doing the painting side of it. So I think what we're going to end up doing with this one is I'll glue it together and then she'll paint it. So team effort. All right, let's get into this. the little stand the name of the diameter of dawn on it okay it's that sort of fairly thin bendy plastic but that's not always a bad thing is it a lot of them have got the part numbers stamped into the parts and there's some detail on there, sort of scaly bits and warts and slashes where it's been attacked or defended itself against some predator or prey maybe. Scary claws. Mm. <laughs> they really look like comedy feed, don't they? <laughs> you put something you Get from the hire sh shop for a fancy dress do. Then we've got the scary business end there. We can have a bit of fun painting that, couldn't you? The teeth, lips, scary eyes. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, there's the little caveman. Hello, I'm a caveman. Hello, come here, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mind you, he's, he's rather well endowed in the chest department. Maybe it's a cave lady. <laughs> I'm going to call it a cave lady. <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh dear. The rubbish she buys. Wonderful. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh. oh. Go on, we've got to see if it lines up. See how much polyfiller I'm going to need to make this resemble anything like a, a creature. What on earth is going on here? doesn't line up at all. And I'm guessing that the this fin this fin thing goes in the back. But the tail doesn't line up. <laughs> uh, right, so yeah I can make that fit. Okay. But then it's gonna need a oh, quite a bit of twisting. As, as, as suspected, it's not the best quality. So, I've got his sort of neck and chest together, but then the tail is way up. So, uh... <laughs> it really is crap, isn't it? Brilliant. Uh, if you're a fan of Lindbergh, I, I mean, you know, disrespect, honestly. Some. This really isn't very good. <laughs> it may well be, I, I, like I say, I don't know anything about them. They may well have turned out some decent stuff, but this ain't it. I'm thinking, how on earth am I going to get that back to sit anywhere near straight? I'm going to have to put it in a bucket of boiling water, I think. Twist it. 
Anyway, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Look at that lovely detail. All those bulging veins sticking out of it, which evolutionary terms, you don't put big veins on the outside of things, do you? I'm no expert in dinosaurs, but it just doesn't look right to me. And of course, there's the theory that some of the dinosaurs had feathers. And they weren't all grey. They might have been brightly coloured like birds. Because of course, birds are descended from, well, they are living dinosaurs, aren't they? So they may well have had the hint of feathers on there somewhere, and it might have been purple and pink and red, and who knows? So you could, you could just muck about with this and nothing's going to be wrong, <laughs> except the shape. <laughs> oh, what fun. Thank you, Sarah. You've uh, done yourself proud with that one, darling. I sure will look forward to persuading that to glue together. So, uh, yeah, short and sweet that one. So, uh, thanks for watching, and from me and Cave Lady, uh, 